fists of the unicorns. Hail, Bodus. Hello, everyone. What's up? This is Fotis here coming to you with a video of some community feedback for Halo Infinite. Okay, so last year we got an amazing video to showcase 343 Industries showing off that they listened to the fans. But we thought this in the past with Halo and CC, but it didn't go down that great with how broken the game was. Granted, the game was fixed and it is much better than what it was. But I am super excited for MCC's future content, as well as Halo 5 Guardians with some more competitive style, more vehicles, but we didn't ask for the advanced movement. So with Halo Infinite, people want their voice to be heard, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Let's start with what 343 Industries has done right first. We know that Halo MCC was a disaster, but it has become my most played game now. I only have like 18 achievements left on it as well. The most important thing is, is that now it works. Postums, or Tyler from 343 Industries, was put in charge of making MCC the best that it can be. This includes player feedback. He has not only fixed the game, but has become the lines of communication between 343 Industries for MCC and fans. We do not know what he has in store for Halo of the Master Chief Collection yet, but we will find out at the next HCS event in Texas in just under two months. Halo Infinite, so far, is going to have Reach-inspired customization and a mix of old and new art styles, but not much more is known. So with that, let's start with vehicles. Make them more like Halo 3 and 4's durability. Don't make them paper like in Halo 5. It is a waste of time for even wanting to use them. You no longer feel like a powerhouse using them like you did in the classic games. One or two shots in Warzone and you're dead. As for different vehicles, bring back all of the old vehicles from previous Halo titles. Not just the new ones. If it wasn't broken, do not fix it. Bring in more options to use. Not just a reskin with an increased strength, or two guns pasted on the front of them. For the love of all things Halo, let us use the Pelican in custom games. We all want this and have been requesting this for years. People have done this through mods with Halo Reach and it works so well. If you cannot use the vehicles from the campaign, let them be used in custom. We don't care if it's balanced 100%. We just want to have fun. Next. Let's talk about the game mechanics. I know this is a controversial topic for many. Should sprint belong, or should it be classic with no sprint? And my answer is yes. Both have a place in Halo. Make playlists, one for the more modern Halo with sprint, and one for the classic Halo fans with no new mechanics. Keep it OG. Keep the competitive gameplay in a separate playlist from the start, and make it OG mechanics. Take out the advanced movements introduced in Halo 5. It was a great concept, but it does not belong in Halo. Next we talk about Forge. Now one thing Halo 5 did amazingly was its Forge content, allowing you to be able to make almost anything. It was fantastic. One thing that is missing though, is its realistic textures. I know 343 is on the right path, but let us be able to make campaign style maps where you cannot tell the difference with the dev maps and the forge maps. This will be an amazing thing if done right. And then there is AI. Allow the use of AI Spartans and other various enemies as well, allowing when they can come into action with timers. In the campaign, it seems like 343 Industries is on the right path for a campaign this time around. From what we hear, the campaign is very large and spacious and that you'll be rewarded for exploration. For a while, there was talk of Halo Infinite being a conclusion of Chief's story, or as Frankie put it, it decides Chief's fate. I do not know if it's still going to be this way, but if it is, for the stories from this point on, pull off a Halo Reach for characters. A named character that no one knows about, male or female, and uses your own custom armor. 
and continue the story with that character. This way, it is immersive, and you can be your own Spartan. This is an amazing feature, and by far my favorite from Halo Reach. I know people are going to be very mad with Chief's departure from the franchise, but it will be necessary at one point. The man is getting old, literally. As for customization, 343 Industries is on the right track, bringing it back to Reach's style. But use the credit system to unlock the armor you want. This made it an amazing way for the armor, and was basically cheat proof. You had the ability to make all of your Spartans unique to the player. It was almost as if there wasn't another like yours. Keep up the great work. This brings me to the last thing. Real communication with 343 Industries, not just forums. The reason I say this is because I was in a situation for a while with trolls causing issues between me and 343 Industries, where they lied to 343 and caused me to get blocked by certain members of 343 Industries. I wish for a certain way to personally be able to communicate with 343 to appeal that. It would be nice for this feature to be available for everyone within reason, or people who have been wronged by the community due to trolls. I would say maybe in the forums to be able to have it available at a certain rank, for instance like Spartan. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. I am doing a giveaway for Halo Infinite for three people. All you have to do to enter is like, comment, subscribe, and please share this video. As always, hugs. Fotis, signing off. Unfotis, believable. Comment, like, and subscribe.